Hey, good people, Tiffany Javon here back with another video. And today we want to talk about budgeting and not just budgeting, the topic of budgeting, but the advantages of budgeting. And here I have listed with me eight different advantages of budgeting. And so if you're just now in 2023, you're not thinking about, you know, your financial stability, if you're not thinking about, you know, your financial growth, if you're not thinking about your finances, period, maybe you've made it, right? But some of us that still hadn't made it yet, we're still tr trying, still striving to, to take a hold of our finances in 2023 and to grow our, our finances and, you know, create a life, you know, the where we're financially stable, where we're financially free, where we can create, you know, know the type of finances we would like to have and possess in our lives and grow from and grow with and so without further ado definitely want to talk about the advantages of budgeting because budgeting is not limiting um to the point of you think of a budget and i know some people think of a budget and they think oh i can't spend a certain amount of money or i can't um you know uh, uh, spend, you know, this and that, you know, I have to spend it only on bills or only on my rent and only on my gas and only on food and only on these things. And, and that's, that's not the case at all. A basic budget is basically, you just want to account for every penny that you spend. Like if it's your money, you need to know where it goes, right? So if it's, if nothing else, it's, it's, a, it brings awareness to you. It lets you know, you know, to, to be accountable for your money. And, you know, once you get to the point where you have just so much of it, then, you know, at that point you can assign an accountant and that can be your cpa's from but until then we need to have a better grasp of our budgets okay and so without further ado number one reason or number one advantage to have a budget is that you want to control your money okay it's your money you need to control it you need to know wherever it goes you need to know how much you're spending on your overhead, whether it be your rent and your gas, you know, how much are you spending on your entertainment? How much are you spending on groceries versus eating out? How much are you spending on these things, right? Because some stuff can be cut back on and you can, you know, uh, uh, inflate other things, right? That you want to save towards. Maybe you have a, a short-term goal or a future goal that you want to save towards. And this will help you, you know, get a good eye on that and be able to, you know, grow your finances and, and help you set aside that money for that particular goal. So that's number one. Number two is it, it allows you to get rid of debt, okay? Budgeting your money lets you know where where you're maybe overspending, what areas you may have some some overages. And so if you have an extra $200, $300, extra, even extra 50 bucks that you're spending where you don't have to spend and you can use that $50 to help pay down that credit card or pay off that loan or whatever the case may be, get that debt off you. You know what I mean? Get that debt off you. That way you can start setting that money aside for short-term or even long-term goals, right? So that's number two. Number three, it helps you to prevent overspending. So when you are, you know, cognizant of what you're spending, when you're thinking about it, when it's on your mind, when you're, when you're, you know, making good intentions and you set out the antenna, okay, I need to be mindful where my money goes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There have been a time in my life where I just swipe my card. I just, you know, spent money if i had cash don't even worry about it don't even think about it because it was burned right it was just would burn a hole in my pocket and it would be gone before i knew it and so it's all uh, you know it prevents overspending by you being very thoughtful um and very you know methodical about what you're what you're spending your money on and where your money is going so it also it helps you redirect your money if nothing else you know not not just overspending it but it helps you redirect it to go more of the places you would want it to go as of as opposed to you just you know kind of throwing money away and like you know what have you ever looked over a month and been like I spent this much money on eating now. I could have cooked or I could have, you know, saved money here or I could have ate out, ate out a little bit less and then, you know, maybe save money towards something else that I wanted, right? And so, you know, there's there's gives and takes, you know, you can you can uh, re recalibrate or recalculate and refocus those funds into other areas. And so number four, it creates more financial and emotional freedom for you. Um, you know, it's just it's just something about um, you knowing that I'm okay financially. I account for my budget. I account for the the inflows and and the expenditures, you know, of my money. And I account for everything, and so I know where my money is going. I'm very intentional, you know. I have it on my mind. Um, I put something in place to know where my funds is going, where where I'm putting seed per se, because where you wherever you're putting your money outside of bills, that's seed money. You know, you can be helping something grow as opposed to helping uh, uh, paying somebody else's pocket. You don't have to do that, right? So. You 
definitely want to be cognizant of where you're going and, and you want to be, you know, get to that financially emotional free state, right? Where you really don't have to think about money because you know you're, you're accounting for everything. Uh, number five, it helps you save for unexpected expenses. And so, again, when you realize, oh, crap, I spent, you know, X amount of dollars on eating out or I spent this on, you know, just throwing it away or on Amazon, right? Because, you know, I, I'm guilty of, of just spending, just buying stuff on Amazon just because it's Prime Day or whatever the case may be. And granted, you can even account for that in your budget. However, budget those things. Don't just spend frivolously. Don't just spend just because you got it. Don't just spend just because it's there. And it's like, oh, you know, it's a it's a hot item. It's it's something that you're, you're impulse buying. You know, we got to get rid of impulse buying. We have be you know with again methodical about the things that we do and we have to be intentional uh with our finances and that's how we get more of it by being cognizant of where it's going right and where we're putting it and where we're 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 um seeding it so to speak okay and so you got to be be conscious of that number six it helps you categorize um your savings for short-term and long-term goals. Again, I mentioned that. So, you know, when you budget, you can set us, maybe you have a short-term goal of buying new furniture for your house or whatever. And it may cost you, what, I don't know, $5,000. So, you know, you have all this excess funds or funds that you may be just kind of squandering right now. You can retarget those funds and say, okay, I want to save for my $5,000, you know, uh, uh, furniture renewal. I want to buy certain pieces in my house and, you know, put, put the things here, there, and everywhere but I want to give myself a $5,000, you know, buffer for, for, for new furniture. You can do that, okay? When you realize you're overspending two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, some people even thousands of dollars a month, then you can retarget those funds for things that you really want to, you know, obtain in the short term. And then as far as the long term is concerned, maybe you want to save for a car or you save for a down payment on a house. Or maybe you want to save for even your, your child's college fund. You know, those are lo longer term goals um, by by mean, um, by ways of whether it's a year or three years or five years or 10 years out. No matter if you start now, then you get the, the, the goal is definitely more achievable because you get to tackle it bit by by bit okay so definitely helps you categorize saving and your money to go set aside for your short-term and your long-term goals um number seven it helps you set your priorities again you you're not just here to on this earth to just make money and you know pay rent and die like no like you're here on this earth to enjoy your life so there's things that you may want to set up set aside some funds for maybe for a family vacation or something of like a cruise or whatever you know whatever you have a short-term goal that you may want to take your family to some exotic place or beach or whatever the case may be and that may be a goal for 2024 so why not start in 2023 setting aside you know that excess amount of money that'll help go toward that book of funds uh, so that way you have the money by the time 2024 gets here you can drop the whole amount on the trip and be done with it because why you were intentional with your money you were intentional with what you were doing with it right and number eight it helps you relieve a lot of financial stress I can't, I can't say this enough. Like when you have enough money and when you're, you're cognizant and you, you account for everything that's coming in and everything that's going out, you won't feel, um, like a lot of people say, when you feel like you got a lot more month at the end of your money. Um, but when you're budgeting, then you can actually have a lot more money at the end of your month and a surplus even, and, and be able to, you know, again, you have those things go towards something where they be a short-term goal or a long-term goal um you can you can account for those things and so guys eight ways in which or eight benefits of of budgeting is amazing and so it's not something that can be or not something that is limiting but it's something that should be freeing it's something that is uh liberating and it should liberate you financially so i hope you guys enjoy that video hope you guys enjoyed those eight benefits uh of uh, starting your own budget hope you guys been thinking about starting your budget in 2023 what is some short-term and long-term goals that you have financially that you hadn't even thought about you know putting the pen to paper and kind of tracking where you've been going and what you've been doing and then retargeting some of those funds to get those things that you those goals right that you want to accomplish uh in whatever time frame that you want to accomplish them whether they be short term whether they be in the next three six months or whether they be longer term in the next year to a few years right so again i hope you guys enjoyed this content if you did go ahead and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and to my next video guys stay blessed bye